I have puffers. Little Ollie, you can help me record a video. All right, so we're back in the office for kind of a update. I got a new bench. A lot of people were asking me about it, so I figured I would go through, just do another quick uh, studio overview or walkthrough. Not a ton has changed since the last one, but I had so many people asking about it, so I figured I would go through. There's a couple new things in here, so I'll kind of show those and basically just go through some of my process and again just kind of how i set up everything to to basically go through my day making candles now i do have a few things in here i'm not completely done organizing in here a lot of stuff is still kind of placed everywhere i've got a shelf over here i'll show you in a second that's going to be going out to the garage but uh, we'll just flip it around and uh, i'll show you what we got here so again, the shelf or the workbench, this is probably the one that people ask me about the most. Uh, I got this one from Home Depot. It's the Duramax workbench. Uh, this thing is really nice. I think it was $400 uh, before tax and everything like that. And of course down here is where I keep uh, the Presto pots, the heat gun. And this is really nice too because it's all metal down here. So when the heat gun gets done, I don't have to put that on something that's gonna potentially burn. So I can just set that right on the metal. I got boxes of wax, 464, 6006 down here. And then coming up through the top right here, this butcher paper, uh, which I do have links for in the video description down below if you wanna grab some of this. This is really nice. I usually just roll it out across the top of this thing. Not only to protect that, but just when you're pouring wax and anything like that, it's kind of nice to have kind of like a catch-all or a drip. And then of course I'll go through and set out like all the tissue paper, bubble wrap or anything like that if I'm packaging up candles, which I definitely have to do here. I've got a couple. This is the only one I've poured right now. But I've got this box set up because I've got another few batches to pour and send out. Uh, everything up through there, scale, the replica surfaces. This thing is also really nice. It fits these perfect so that I can set up like three of them kind of all across here. And again, can't really see in that one because I've got to remove this thing. I got to take this out to the garage, but store everything in here. This is all the electronic stuff, batteries, any small tripods, anything like that. This one is kind of half tools, half wick supplies, RTV, chopsticks, zip ties, anything like that. And then of course this one when I'm doing shipping, these are all the stickers that go on the boxes, warning labels, wick stickers, packaging materials. Now this is the shelf I just got rid of. I actually had it over here a little while ago. This one, it will just go out into the garage. I have another one of these out there and I'll just put like all the jars and everything out there. That's one thing I'd like to do with the candle room is get all the jars out of here and only bring in the ones that I'm actually making for that day. So this will be leaving very soon. Coming back over here, these shelves again, got off of Amazon. They store everything pretty nicely. And then of course these bins, I've got these everywhere. I got these from Michael's. These are really nice. But pouring pitchers, waxes, jars, anything down here like that, lids, pretty much where I keep all of that stuff. And again, coming across the top here, I've got the studio lights for when I actually record videos in here. Now these things, again, the boxes, got these from Michaels. These won't stay up there. Those will actually go inside these right here. Uh, I just started cleaning this room. So all that stuff will disappear real soon. More studio lighting. And then of course I've got another one of these with stuff everywhere because I'm not done cleaning. But again, this one is gonna be this exact same thing. I keep everything in here as far as wicks, uh, Ziploc bags, anything like that, jars. A bunch of wicks down there at the bottom. This is pretty much, I don't know, probably 40 or 50 different wicks in there. So if I'm doing any kind of testing. <clears throat> and then of course boxes everywhere. And I've gotta go get more of these, I'm starting to run low. And then of course this is the new shelf that I just picked up. 
Uh, this is basically the smaller version of the one that I've got on the other side of the room. And again, jars, uh, different vessels, wax down at the bottom. And of course, silhouette machine stuff. And then this is all wick holders from Wicket, hot throw. Pretty much try to keep everything on hand. Uh, tape, label printing paper, stereo for music, of course. <laughs> And then this one over here, uh, this doesn't usually go here. I usually keep the tissue paper here. And then I usually set up my silhouette machine here, which I have right here. I don't use that one too much, but when I do use it, I set it down here and I print all the labels I can. And then I just move it right back up on top. <laughs> and then of course, uh, Canon color laser again. I've got a link to the this printer in the description down below nice color laser I do all my labels here in the in the office and Then of course My new pride and joy the computer which I edit all my videos on And the monitor which is way too big <laughs> And then of course, just like you saw in the last video, two of these rolling carts, these things are really nice, especially when you're doing, for one, I've got this one kind of cleared out so I can do video editing and move the camera around on this one. And then this one is all oils. But these things are really nice, especially if you're doing something like this. Uh, these move around. And the reason I got this one here is because I can move those wheels and just pull that right out into the middle of the room so that I can set it up honestly right next to this and be working on this one and have the other one right here <clears throat> and then this unfortunately is kind of the catch-all this is just a cabinet that i need to get rid of and i've got nothing but assorted vessels all kinds of different stuff for testing these new ones from 1617 which i love and then of course the Black Auras, which I use from Wooden Wick. Uh, these are really nice also. So that's pretty much it for the office. I've got a bunch of stuff out in the garage too. Like I said, this uh, cabinet, or the, the shelf that I've got right here, that one's gonna be going out to the garage. I've got another one sitting out there that has a lot of supplies on it. And basically once that one gets out there, a lot of the, uh, the vessels, the boxes and things like that will definitely go back out there so that I can keep only the stuff in this office that I'm actually using at the time to make candles. And then the other new thing I've got coming real soon is a commercial melter. I've been looking at these for a while. It's something I've definitely needed for a long time. That's why I've got three Presto pots down there and I run three of them at a time sometimes and it just, I'm shooting myself in the foot by not getting a commercial melter. I should have done it a long time ago. I definitely have the need for it. I've definitely got the uh, the sales to justify it and I just keep holding it off because I don't actually mind just using the Presto pots. They work extremely well. They heat up nice and quick, but uh, at this point I need a commercial melter. So that's gonna be the one thing. Probably stack it right there in the corner uh, and pretty much elevate my candle game this year because that's the main focus. And I think I've talked about it in the previous video and definitely on the group, but growing the candle business or the candle sales is definitely my main focus this year. Whereas last year, the candles were definitely a focus, but it was definitely more the videos, the tutorials, the classes, uh, some of the products and the eBooks and everything like that. I spent a lot of time on that one. While the candles did well, I know I could have done a hell of a lot better and that's gonna be the main focus for this next year. So that's pretty much it. If I glossed over something or missed something that you guys want uh, a few more questions on, just shoot me a message in the comments down below. I'll go to through. I'll go through, try to answer every single one of those. And hopefully this gives some people uh, kind of an idea of how I how my workflow goes. I know a lot of people want to know uh, how to set yourself up for success, basically making candles. What do you do? What do you have? What do you keep next to you? So hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight and a little bit of inspiration on what you can do with your candle room. But like I said, if you've got any questions, uh, shoot me an email. I've got my email, website, any of the social media platforms that you can follow me on, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that is listed in the video description down below. So definitely jump over, subscribe, follow, shoot me a message and say hi, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.